there is a lot of confidence around Columbia that this is going to be the year the Tigers put up more of a fight in the Big 8 race. Well, this is the best I've felt since I've been here. Uh, I think the attitude of our football team is very good. Uh, right now, they believe they can win. They care about winning. Uh, the enthusiasm, the excitement throughout the state is very good. I think the timing is right right now in Missouri. I, I know that we did recruit very well the last two or three years, and we've done a lot of red shirting. Uh, I feel like we got a lot of good young football players in our program. We're uh, not really very experienced at this point. We haven't got a lot of upper class leadership in numbers. Uh, we've got a few good players, but we'll probably only start about six seniors. But some of our young players have played a lot the last couple of years, and uh, we started getting a lot better about the middle of last season. So if we make the same kind of progress this year as we made last year, maybe, maybe we'll be working over the holidays. That confident feeling is the result of improved performances by the Tigers the last two years and by the presence of a defense that should rank as one of the league's best. We really did make a big jump last year. In other words, we beat the teams we should have won, uh, and uh, other teams we played very, very close. Uh, really only out of one ball game, uh, the Nebraska game in the first half of the Colorado game is the only halves that we did play very well. Uh, the rest of the ball games were in those ball, ball games and winning two or three of them up into the late in the fourth quarter. And I think with the maturity we have right now, we'll win those close games. The defense will be led by senior co-captain Steve Vandegrift and Daryl Darling, and by junior cornerback Adrian Jones. All three are confident that 1988 will be a good season for the Tigers. Well, right now, the um, team feels more confident than we felt in the, over the last two years. And right now, we feel that we're very confident and that we can compete with any team at the Division One level. And for ourselves, we feel that we have a lot of things to prove around the Big Eight and around the nation. And we're looking forward to doing those things this year. Everybody's made that commitment, you know, as a team. And, I mean, to work hard and do, what, do what's necessary to win, to get it done. You know, I feel everybody went home and just worked hard. We're ready. The Tigers return eight starters from last year's defense and also will be strengthened by the addition of linebacker A.J. Miller, a transfer from SMU, who figures to be one of the newcomers to watch in Missouri. Well, it makes me very prepared because I've been out a year. You know, I had to sit out a year when I know I should have been playing. And I'm just really excited to go because I haven't played since I played at SMU, and I'm just fired up and ready. On offense, the Tigers will be led by quarterback John Stallenwerk. Stallenwerk, another SMU transfer, took over as the starter midway through last season and figures to benefit from a year's experience at the helm of the flexbone attack. I uh, came in last year just hoping to get some playing time and uh, hoping that uh, you know I could uh, win the starting job in the spring. And uh, you know I was fortunate enough to uh, you know uh, win the starting job early in the season, and uh, that's what I was shooting for. And you know, it, uh, you know, spring training also helped me just learn the offense a lot better. And you know, I think towards the end of the season, I was I still didn't know the offense completely, and I uh, had certain situations that I hadn't been in, in earlier in the year that uh, really hindered my performance. And uh, now I uh, hope that uh, because of the experience I've gotten, that uh, I'll uh, you'll be able to recognize all the situations and be able to perform up to my capabilities. The key to the Tigers' offensive performance might be determined on how well they replace graduated running backs Robert Del Pino and Darrell Wallace and kicker Tom Whalahan. Trying to make up much of that slack in the ground game will be a junior fullback, Tommy Stowers, the team's second leading rusher a year ago. I plan on being more as a leader this year and uh, hopefully the other guys will just follow in my footsteps and uh, do the same as I'm trying to do and that's to be a leader. The other offensive player to watch at Missouri is tight end Tim Bruton. Bruton stepped into the starting lineup as a freshman last year. Years ending at eight have been kind to the Tigers. The team has not had a losing record in a year ending at eight since 1898. In three of the last four years ending at eight, the year ended with a bowl game. The Gator Bowl in 1948 and 1968 and the Liberty Bowl in 1978. The Tigers want to add 1988 to that list. It's uh, really growing inside my heart. Uh, I think everybody believes it. And that's, uh, I think that's where it all starts. Uh, if you have the belief in yourself and your teammates, then uh, with a little luck, there's no telling what you can do. And the uh, difference between this year and last year is we're going to go out on the field knowing we can win and knowing we can play with everybody in the country. 
last year we knew we had the talent, but we really, you know, still had a few doubts. And uh, it's really going to be fun to see what happens.